Good evening and welcome to another episode of Late Night with Lynette. My guest this evening, well, we're not going to get into my guest yet. When you drive into a town, well, what I do, I like looking to see the other little signs on the side of the road to see, you know, how involved the town is. And you know the signs I'm talking about. You see the Kiwanis Club. Uh, you see the VFW Club. You see the Rotary Club. What on earth are these clubs? When I was a kid, the Rotary Club, now what did I know? I knew what Rotaries were, because my parents explained those when we were in the car, and my, my mother hated Rotaries. I always thought the Rotary Club were the people who made Rotaries. What did I know? I still don't know what the Rotary Club does. So my guest this week is the Honorable Maureen Mooney, who is also the current president of the Merrimack Rotary Club. That's correct. Welcome to Late Night with Lynette. Thank you so much for having me back on the show, Lynette. It's been I a while. was your first guest yes, yes, uh, yes. when you debuted. That's right. And in fact, some would say I'm a co-creator of your show, <laughs> along with Janine Nodder here in Merrimack. So yeah, it's yeah. good uh, to be back on your show. And I want to wish you a happy one-year anniversary, yes. seeing as though your show has been very successful uh, throughout a year. And yeah. so congratulations on that achievement. Well, thank you. Yeah, we're just over a year. Uh, I believe my year was the first week of February. Amazing. So, yes. And it seems like yesterday I was sitting right here with uh, Janine <laughs> Nodder, and we were talking about exactly what your show was going to be about and how it would how it came about and what you would talk about. Yes. Yeah. And the only thing really that's changed over the years time has been your jacket. Uh, my new jacket. Isn't it stunning? <laughs> I mean, I didn't think I could find anything to top my usual jacket. Well, perhaps but. if you get a new jacket for every year-long season of your show, people will know just by watching and seeing what jacket you have, which season it is. There, there Was you it your first year? <laughs> Was it your second? Will it be your third? Yes. I think uh, that would be very telling if you continue that tradition. Yeah, I, I do find some stunning jackets, don't I? <laughs> It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> now, this wasn't found at a, this was actually bought new. It wasn't at a consignment shop, uh -huh. but this was bought at a costume shop. Costume. Yes. Wow. Yes. I, I think it's stunning. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. So do tell, what on earth, other than Maureen and some older businessmen, what is the Rotary? <laughs> <laughs> well, very good question. I'm certainly glad to be here because you're right. Several people do. They see the emblem. They hear the name. Uh, perhaps they read about it in the paper here and there for all the things that are going on. But what does the Rotary do and who's behind it? Right. Well, here in the town of Merrimack, uh, the town has had a chapter of Rotary International since 1971. Wow. During that time, uh, some citizens here in Merrimack got together and established a service club. And it's a chapter of Rotary International, which I'll get to in just a moment. But what the local chapter of Rotary does is, in a nutshell, dedicates its time, service, and talents to the community it's in. It's a group of dedicated people, many, yes, involved in business and have businesses or are retired from business or have worked uh, within the community, raised their children here, what have you, that now want to give back in various ways. And there are obvious all sorts of ways, as you know, to give back to the community. In fact, the Rotary Club motto is service above self. And when I think of some of the members, some of which are founding members back from 1971, who are still uh, doing what they do to raise funds for scholarships and coats for kids and all sorts of other things in town, it's really incredible, the dedication, and how fortunate the town of Merrimack is to have such a dedicated group of individuals that get together and think of new ways to serve the community. Now, Rotary International uh, is just that. It's an international organization, and it's amazing uh, how many continents and how many countries it's on. But it was founded originally uh, back in the day in Chicago by a gentleman by the name of Paul Harris. And sometimes those are in, who are in Rotary uh, know about the Paul Harris Fellow and things of that nature. In fact, uh, Paul Harris himself was born in Vermont, so he's a New Englander, and some go to see his homestead, uh, perhaps as a tourist attraction and the like. But his idea, he was a lawyer in Chicago, and his idea was to get together with business people and determine various ways that they could not only network for their businesses, but also service their community. And how it got its name, Rotary, is that they would rotate which office or which home their meetings would take place. So sometimes it would be at the local dentist's office, other time it would be at the accountant's office, the lawyer, the doctor, the school, what have you, and thus it got its name that's carried through 
Rotary. Well, through the years, Rotary has done uh, many things. First of all, it's grown by leaps and bounds. It's become international. And more, inter uh, more information on the international end of things can be found at uh, rotary.com. That's the international page. Uh, incidentally, though, one of their big commitments is to eradicate polio from the world. And frankly, they're very close to that, and what a noble cause it is. In fact, uh, some Rotarians, and I have been to meetings and so forth preparing to be president, a lot of Rotarians have been affected in some way or another by polio, either themselves personally or those in their family or growing up, whatever the circumstance may be. And they're very happy now to be able to give back to an organization that it's so committed to fighting that in third world countries and other places. So that's a real uh, big crowning achievement uh, that Rotary does. And so other service organizations, you know, they have their own uh, dedications and their own commitments. For example, Lions are very dedicated to eyesight, also diabetes and other things of that nature. And so Rotary's uh, big commitment on the international health scale is polio and the eradication of that. Now you said it was founded in Chicago. How long ago was that? Uh, that was back in the 50s, I believe. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. So, and now, do the, do the club meetings still rotate around? Or are you in one place all the time? No, we're in one place, but yep. we do have um, meetings off-site. So, for oh, example, if somebody would like to have an off-site meeting at their business, or uh, one thing we did over the summer is we met at the Thomas More College campus, which is now in... Uh, there is a campus here in Merrimack, but right. there's also a branch campus at one of the larger mansion-type homes right on Concord Street in Nashua. Oh, and wow. so we had a beautiful breakfast there and then afterwards toured that historic home called the Anderson Home. You see, every Thursday, Rotary, you know, it's a big commitment. Uh, but not only is it a commitment to the community and to serve the community, but we meet weekly oh, every wow. Thursday at 7 a.m., a group of dedicated Merrimack residents meet at the O'Leary Center. We have our social from 7 to 7.15, then a buffet breakfast typically where we socialize some more. Then we have a brief meeting, say between eight, uh, 7.40 and 8 o'clock, and then every week has a guest speaker. And the guest speaker talks from 8 to 8.30. We're very prompt about getting out of there at 8.30 so that the members can go and do what they have to. Uh, but talk about a great way to get to know your neighborhood, get to know your community, get to know uh, your fellow Rotarians in an environment of fellowship, and also bringing in various speakers from all over uh, to address our club. Some speakers we've had this year uh, have been Kelly Ayotte, for example, our U.S. Senator. We also had the president of Phillips Andover Academy come. And you might think, well, that's interesting. Come all the way to Merrimack. Has to leave his home probably about 6 or 5.30 just yeah. to come to our meeting. But he received a scholarship from Rotary International for a fellowship to study in England and has been very dedicated uh, to Rotary and very receptive to any kind of invitations like that. So he came up from Andover and was very good. In the past, we've had Bill Gardner, our Secretary of State, and others, who, uh, our police department. We work very closely with the police department in various ways. If they have needs, they'll approach us uh, for things that they may uh, need and need some fundraising for. In addition to that, we've heard from them on many uh, incidences that affect our state and our community. For example, the heroin addiction that has uh, affected our state so grievously. So a lot of connections there mm -hmm. and every meeting is different and every meeting is very informative for sure. In fact, I know this show is going to air probably in a month from now, but uh, Paul McCallie is our speaker this coming week, and he is the assistant town manager. He'll be talking about the budget. I mean, where else can you go on a Thursday morning to get that close and personal to what's going on in town, ask the questions, and then essentially leave his friends? And that's a real big part of being a Rotarian here in town. Now, it, you said it was businessmen. Are there any qualifications? I mean, what... What do you have to do to be a Rotarian? Well, uh, first of all, to be a Rotarian, you have to have a sponsor. So somebody who's in the club would have to sponsor you. And then uh, you would essentially be approved 
uh, through a vote of the club, but you, each member does come in with a classification. Mm -hmm. So that's essentially what your profession is or what it was. And it used to be very strict, you know, there could only be one dentist in the club or one lawyer in the club, things of that nature. But there are other ways to uh, handle that. For example, if you're an insurance salesman but you deal in life insurance, uh, you that would be one classification as opposed to somebody else who's in health insurance and things like that. Gotcha. You know, I, I went on two trips to Turkey, yes. and on one of our trips in this um, area called Pendik, we met with the, rota the Rotary Club yes. from Pendik. Um, it was very interesting. Um, we had a very, very good time there. You know, and the th interesting thing, too, is no two Rotary meetings are the same. Hmm. If you were to go to the Merrimack Rotary Club, we do it, you know, our way and so on. But if you went to the, one of the Nashua clubs, of which they have two, hmm. Hollis oh, wow. Brookline has one, Manchester has one, Bedford has one, uh, you would find that each club does it just a little bit different. In fact, over the summer I spoke at the London Dairy Club, and they do it a little different, but I was their guest speaker. And it's just interesting to see the take that everybody has on this same commitment, though, and that is service above self, raising money and helping out the community. Very good. You know, my, my husband, when, we, we were, when I was talking to him about the show, when he was a high schooler, the Rotary sponsored what was called the Key Club. And it was, uh, it looked, he said it looked good on the resume. Yeah, it was right. a, it was They were volunteer, and it was a service organization. Uh, these, they had to be in high school. I believe he said uh, just uh, sophomore, junior, senior. Yeah. And they were involved in service organizations. They started a recycling program. I mean, this is back in the late 70s. Yeah. So recycling was just starting to come about. Yes. Um, they had fundraisers. He said it was a, a do-gooder club. Interesting. You went around and did things in the community. Yeah. And it was they were sponsored by the Rotary. Interesting. Yeah. Well, we do have here in town what's called an Interact Club. Hmm. And that is the high school version of Rotary. Okay, it's probably similar to the Key Club. Yes, yeah. it sounds like it, definitely. And uh, in fact, this year, as you mentioned, I'm president of the club. That's only a one-year term. Mm. So that makes it actually very manageable right. for oh, members. Yeah. You know, it's a run a rotation cycle, essentially. And you start as a vice president, you go to president-elect, and then eventually you become president. So you lead up to it. And I can tell you, you know, who's going to be the president of the club two years from now. So there's great security there. <laughs> a good learning <laughs> curve, you know. Uh, but one thing I've done... And it's hard to believe my year as president is almost down to the wire here. It ends in June. Oh, wow. Uh, so the one-year term is almost over. Uh, but one thing I've tried to do is access Merrimack TV in a great way to notify people just what Rotary is, what we're doing now, and what it does for the community, and ways that people in the community can help the Rotary Club, too. There are numerous ways uh, in that sense that people can help us help the community. But uh, not to be a spoiler or anything, but our next show we're planning is to highlight the Interact Club, basically the key club you were talking about, and see what they're doing. And that's a great way to expose our young high school people to Rotary in the hopes that when they become older, they may very well join a local chapter themselves. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, Merrimack TV is a great source of commercials. Yes. I've been hosting some small businesses, and I tell them when I when I talk to them about getting them on my show, I'm like, why do I not go to your show? I said, free commercials. Yeah. I said, you have a 27-minute commercial. If you were if you were a regular TV commercial, you get maybe what thirty seconds. Right. Most commercials are less than a minute. This is a twenty-seven minute commercial. Yeah. Other than my Maggie moment and at first when I was having my Hillary happenings, other than that, I mean they were still getting a twenty-two minute commercial. Yeah. What's not bad about that? And it's free. Very true. And you yeah. know, Rotary does that and goes a little bit beyond. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, we've been recognizing businesses uh, periodically that are outstanding in town, as well as volunteers. Well, there you go. Uh, how often is it that a volunteer gets uh, duly recognized by an organization? But last night, just last night, in fact, we had a Rotary night out. And what is that? That's an opportunity for all of us Rotarians and our spouses or significant others, what have you, go and uh, eat at a local restaurant. Oh, there you go. And so isn't that great? Uh, not only oh, to yeah. uh, build up a local business in town, but to patronize them uh, and what they do, because we're certainly very grateful for all the businesses we have in town. So Rotary does do that, goes an extra uh, step there uh, to make sure that we support our businesses here in town. It's extraordinarily important. Right, and then just by getting the Rotary Club there, I mean, that's status enough for that restaurant. Yes. And people are going to see this big group, and the Rotary members, I'm sure, are going to share the information. Right. I mean, who who knows how many 
guests are going to come to that restaurant because the Rotary Club was there. Exactly. In fact, we have a very active, we have three websites. Oh, wow. Which, uh, yes, is really something. And we also have a Facebook page. And our Facebook page has been very active this year in terms of uh, highlighting who the guest speaker is uh, that we've had at our meetings. Last week it was the head of the new head of the Chamber of Commerce here in town, and she was telling us all about the goings-on there. Uh, but getting back to the Rotary Night Out, we ate at Luna Capri, and so what's on our Facebook page today? Luna, Luna Capri. Capri, and we had a fantastic meal there and exceptional service. Oh, very so good. they did a great job, and we were very happy to be there for sure. But if you look on our Facebook page, you'll see it. So there's an extra plug for a business <laughs> in town. Indeed. And now you, you just go to Merrimack restaurants or eateries, correct? Uh, well, in this year, we're trying right. to do that. Yeah. You know, the next president may have it a little yeah. different or what have you, but uh, th this year we're making every effort to do that. There you go. Yeah. Yes. You know, um, we raise our money pretty much around the holidays it's interesting what we do fourth of july family fun day everybody knows that yep and the pancake breakfast so it starts with the rotary pancake breakfast it goes to the town run parade and then the rotary run merrimack family fun day and uh, that more information on that can be found at merrimackfourth.com that's one of our websites then thanksgiving comes around and what do we have the turkey trot 5k merrimack 5k Dot com. That's the website for that. And this past year, we had, do you want to take a guess how many runners came out on a brisk Thanksgiving morning? And uh, before you guess, to kind of help you along, I'll tell you this, that we have people running that race from all over the country. Mm. Naturally, they're visiting their family in Merrimack. Mm. We've been doing it for a few years. We've been getting the word out. So take a guess how many runners this year. Wow. A um, couple hundred? 395. Whoa, very good. Uh, the line for same-day registrants was out the door and beyond. Wow. In fact, I have um, <laughs> the sign-ups in my <laughs> home office right now, and it's about that thick. It was a phenomenal fundraiser, and we raised as much in that fundraiser as we do with another big fundraiser of ours, our Christmas tree sales. Oh, right. Yeah, I know about your Christmas tree sales. And you may see uh, every year a uh, Rotary is out there in the Old Shaw's parking lot. Yep. If the lights are on, there's a Rotarian there ready to sell you a tree. <laughs> and all the money goes to charity. Again, yeah. everybody's doing this for the Merrimack community. Right. And not for the headlines, uh, not for the most votes, not for um, who's on, gonna be on the next front page of the paper, but simply to help out the community. And it's really amazing. And again, I just can't emphasize enough just how fortunate Merrimack is to have this group of dedicated people get together every Thursday morning, unless it's Christmas or Thanksgiving. Right, Those yeah. are the only exceptions. <laughs> <laughs> now, about how many members are in the Merrimack? About 26 right now. Wow. We just uh, inducted a new member uh, earlier this month, and he's actually a transfer. So he moved here from New York, so very familiar with Rotary, uh, very active, and he works in Concord. And so we got him right into the club. And oh, it was very, very good. nice. Yeah. Now, can I was going to say they, they don't transfer memberships from one club to another. No, That's probably you'd have to be reintroduced. Right, yeah. And, uh, and exactly. now, do you still need a sponsor when you're coming, if yes. you've already been? Okay. You do. You still need a sponsor. Yep. That's right. So it's not really a, a transfer per right. se, but it is somebody who's been from another club who's now coming into our club and is very familiar with the procedures and right. the like. Uh, you know, we do welcome guests to come to our meeting if anybody would like to just experience a Rotary meeting. Uh, it's amazing how many people... Uh, do do that, especially those that are speakers. Perhaps they've never been to a Rotary meeting and it's a new experience for them. We have our happy finds, which are opportunities. Happy finds? Happy do finds. It's a, it's a fundraiser, actually. But yeah. what it is, is you know, our sergeant at arms will get up and uh, say, is anybody happy today about something? And a member will say, sure, you know, I um, just got a promotion. Or somebody else will say, yes, I have a new niece or a new nephew. Or somebody else will say, oh, you know, my child just got a student of the month or something like that. Pay a dollar. Ah, there and you go. Uh, <laughs> with that combined, combined with our raffle that we have every week, yep. uh, that raises a little bit of money, again, for the community. Wow. Now, they have happy fines. Are there any fines for, say, a businessman shows up and, I don't know, didn't put a belt on that day? Yes, Is there, yes. Oh, there are. Okay. Wardrobe malfunction no. fines are definitely <laughs> welcome oh, at Rotary. Funny. I, was, I was, didn't realize that that was... Yes, there has been an occasion or two when somebody would be fined for missing a belt hole. 
You know, uh, something along yeah, that There you line, go. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know. Yeah. So now, does the fine get bigger if they forget the whole belt? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, that would be up to our sergeant at arms to determine. But uh, that's a possibility, certainly. Yeah. That could be fun being sergeant of arms. Yes. But then there might be payback when you're not sergeant of arms the the next go round. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. A new rotary year it comes around once a year. Yeah, you uh, might be a you turnover, might be, so you might be fined yourself. Yeah, you might be targeted for a while by the sergeant of arms. If yes. Uh, yeah. That's right. Exactly. Oh, too. Funny. So uh, next we have coming up in April, and the show will probably be running very close to it, but we have an annual rabies clinic mm. uh, that one of our members takes uh, very good care of coordinating, and it's very popular as well. So dogs and cats can get their rabies shots uh, right here at the garage mm. by the uh, town hall. So gotcha. we're located in the town hall, for right. your viewers that may not know, and so it's in the garage that's uh, in the parking lot. So that's April 16th. Wow, very good. Just yeah. around the corner. And frankly, plans for the 4th of July are already starting. You know, that's additional, too. Uh, those that are co-chairing the 4th of July Family Fun Day, they have meetings about this time of year every other week or so on an early Friday morning at one of the local diners in town. And uh, if ever you're having your breakfast on an early Friday and you see a group of people busily talking about who's going to be a vendor this year, who's going to be in the entertainment, uh, what kind of sponsors do we have, it's the Merrimack Rotarians planning what is the biggest fundraiser of the year, and that's the Merrimack Family Fun Day held on the 4th of July. Well, that's a, a big hit, not just in Merrimack. I mean, yes. The, the two big parades in our area are Amherst and Merrimack. Yes. And they're very popular right. uh, throughout the state. Yep. And I know with the Merrimack Parade, with them being staggered, Amherst in the morning, unfortunately Merrimack has the afternoon, we get the yeah, heat. Yeah, right. But, I mean... I'll, I've been in the parade at Amherst, then come to the parade in Merrimack. Yes. And I'll see some of the same people. Right. Because people I know that, you know, I, I made sure I gave candy to in the Amherst parade will also call my name in the Merrimack parade. Yes. So you can hit the dual parades. And Merrimack by far is much bigger than the Amherst parade. Absolutely. Uh, and plus you have the benefit of helping out the Merrimack Rotary right, at exactly. the Family Fun Day and all of the vendors and the contests and the bands uh, that you have access to during that time. It's really a great time. Oh yeah. And uh, we do rely very heavily on sponsors. And again, uh, the community has really had a great outpouring. It's incredible the relationship that Rotary has with businesses in town as well as the police department I mentioned earlier and our fire department as well. We contributed um, just this past Thanksgiving to the fire department turkey dinner fund so oh, something good. else we do yeah. coats for kids that's another thing that the Merrimack Rotary contributes to uh, we work with the welfare department here in town to get a list of those who uh, may need a winter coat oh nice over the winter and we contribute there this year I think we donated 27 coats nice so that's uh, wow. just incredible that um, now do you just collect do children's coats or is it winter coats for all that's ages? for children just for children yeah okay. in yep. fact the program's called uh, coats for kids yep. so it's just uh, the children in fact but getting to the other end of the life cycle we also contribute to Meals on Wheels oh and that of course is a very important program here in town oh huge and uh, we see a lot of times when our meeting is just ending over at the O'Leary Center we'll see the Meals on Wheel people just coming in oh, and wow. uh, yeah. it's a reminder too of just what a great service they provide and all the volunteers that they have to provide those meals for those in Merrimack well, so you have your hand in all sorts of pots. It's amazing. Yes, yeah. it's very true. And people say, you know, you know, why get into that? Or, you know, you're so busy and schedules get crazy. And, you know, why do you make that time every week? And it's because of my commitment to the service and servicing those in need here in the community. Right, yeah, yeah. And most things, I mean, that's different. I mean, it's in the morning. Most things, it's evenings. True. Um, you have meetings all the time in the evenings, and it, you have to pick and choose sometimes. Yeah. Like when I was a state rep, it was tough getting to all the meetings, that you know, the extracurricular meetings right. ex out of the state house because yeah. everyone's in the evenings. Right. And if you can find one that's a different time, I mean, that, that's perfect having in the morning. True. Yeah. As I mentioned, you know, though, different Rotary clubs do it differently. Right. There yeah. is an evening club uh, just recently started in uh, Nashua. Uh, this, so it's called the Sauhegan Club. Gotcha. And they run an annual Kentucky Derby, actually, in May. That's one of their bigger fundraisers. In fact, that's coming up as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but they do that, and yeah. so that's interesting. Huh. You know, um, not to be confused with um, what we do and the Rib Fest here in town. 
Oh, yeah. Now, just to be clear, uh, yes, the Rib Fest is held here in Merrimack, but it's the Nashua Rotary Club that runs that. We do sometimes have a raffle that we sponsor as a Merrimack club at that event, but we do not do uh, the Rib Fest. Right, yeah. And I'll tell you, that club makes an incredible amount of money with that Rib Fest, and that's oh, their yeah. biggest fundraiser as well. Whoever came up with that idea <laughs> scored a home run. That's a grand slam. <laughs> yes. I mean, that is a huge fundraiser. I yeah, mean, if you're, not, if you're not going to the Rib Fest, you make sure you're not in that area, because you're not going to get there. Right. Uh, the traffic, I mean, and they do a great job keeping the cars flowing, yep. but the extra cars in that area during Rib Fest is insane. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Another thing the club does is it funds scholarships for graduating seniors over at Merrimack High School. Oh, very good. And one of those scholarships is called the President's Award. And uh, it's so for a major or a line of education that the president of the club determines. Oh, so it's so different every year. Every year, that's oh, wow. right. So I have yet to make my determination, Ooh. but uh, I'm thinking very hard about it, and I think I have a pretty good idea. Yeah. But uh, so huh. keep. Now, I would have a few different choices. Political science, maybe, yes. as a former state rep. Right. Um, Wow, yeah, that'd, that'd be a It business. is difficult, that's yeah. right, especially yeah. with my background and how broad yeah. it is, and so many people have been inspiring to me yeah. and whatnot, so I've got to think about that. It's one of the more challenging parts of being the president of Rotary for a year. Yeah, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you know, because I mean, then you could pick something just totally off the wall. That's right. And go with a, a, you know, a, a drama degree. That's <laughs> right. You know, um, our website, and incidentally, I can't say enough about our webmaster. His name is Scott Mortimer. And he does a phenomenal job with MerrimackRotary.com, which is our main site, as well as the Turkey Trot site. I mentioned Merrimack5k.com. And then the 4th of July site that he's starting to work on now, even though it's only um, February, March. And that's MerrimackFourth.com. Okay, now is it the 4 with T-H or 4th spelled out? No, 4, the number 4, and then a T-H. Th. That's the way I wrote it. But the feature, and I'll turn this around here, this is our... Uh, main site which Scott is working very diligently on and it features an event that Rotary has every year called excellence in the workplace and right now on the site is the advertisement for that and some pictures of previous years but basically anybody in the community can nominate a business person or somebody that does a service person for Rotary to recognize at their annual Excellence in the Workplace event. Well, very good. Well, we have come to the end of our show. You know, it's always amazing how <laughs> fast uh, these shows go. Yeah, they Whether it's quick. my show or your show, whatever, yeah, I it's hear amazing. You. Thank you so much for being on the show. I now know what Rotary is. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Late Night with Lynette. Good night and God bless.